All right, we're going into the third map between Kemper, who is uh, still the human here in light blue, spawning in the bottom left spawn position this time of Twisted Meadows, and Satini, the Night Elf player in red still, spawning in the bottom right spawn position. And uh, once again, he's going to start with a um, regular altar hero. And is this going to be an Ancient of War? Probably. Yes, it is an Ancient of War, so he's gonna go for this time for a little bit more, um, you know, at least compared to Echo Isles and Turtle Rock, ambitious Ancient of War creep. Um, Kemper on the other side of the map is starting with the altar first, as usual as well. Uh, he's gonna get the AM. And for Satini, yeah, we're gonna keep an eye on the altar once again to see whether it's uh, the Demon Hunter or the Warden. And, um, you know, usually... You would say that luckily for Kemper, Satini is not in the top left. He's not close to his uh, goblin and uh, to his um, goblin laboratory. But I have a feeling that Kemper is probably just gonna go ahead and creep these two Norns with the uh, AM and the first footman without any militia to get his tech done quickly. So um, I guess the spawn position might be as good as it gets for Satini. Then again, he's going to take this creep in the beginning, so his harassment is going to start a lot later than it did on both Echo Eyes and Turtle Rock. So, um, yeah, per probably it's not going to make all too much of a difference. We'll find out. Both of them scouting their opponent's main bases right now. First footman is out. The militia scouting towards the top here. Just by this... Uh, oh, he's even turning around already. I was about to say, just by this peasant, uh, just by this wisp, he should be aware of the uh, Ancient of War here already. Archer starts creeping, Ancient of War uprooting, AM is about to spawn, Wisps are roaming around, Demon Hunter is out, AM is out now, and he's actually calling Militia. So is he going to creep or is he going to go straight for a tower push here, which could also be the case. You do see the Wisp is not being detonated, uh, and yeah, it's just it's a straight tower rush. It's... Uh, Moonbell number two and Moonbell number three are in production currently. The uh, Overseer has already fallen. Circlet for the Demon Hunter. Uh, Null Warden number one is about to fall as well. AM is coming in. Wartem had been spawned here. The Moonbell is going to come up. And the Militia and the Footman are arriving here. We do not see a Lumber Mill yet. Is this guy waiting? I don't know. But uh, for the time being, he's only going to have Arcane Towers. Uh, this pass used on both the AM and the Water Mental Demon Hunter is going to get rid of that one very quickly to get the level 2 here. Pretty important for him. He has skilled both his skill points or used both his skill points already. So we'll see if he's going for evasion here, if he's going for mana burn, if he's going for immolation. Four towers being spilled simultaneously here, here by Kemper. You'd usually expect to see some power built by the human, but uh, okay, he decides to do it. In a different manner, the first of the peasants is taking some damage. The archer has to stay the hell away from these footmen, though. Demon Hunter is chasing after the AM. He still hasn't used any skill going for his first in-base Ancient of War here. In the meantime, another archer has already spawned, so archer production continues. Of course, no tech by the Night Elf. He's adding a Hunter's Hall as well. And, yeah, he's just not using any skills here, so it looks like he just wants to have his movers only healing the Demon Hunter, not, um, you know, replenishing mana with those. So one arcane tower is being built right now. The lumber mill, I think, must have just finished by now, unless he did like super power build. But uh, now he's adding two more guard towers here, out of his out of his four scout towers. So I'm guessing the lumber mill must have just finished. Satini so far is doing a decent job gathering a couple of archers. He needs to keep those spread and hidden from the footman. And just use them very, um, you know, in very small doses. To uh, quickly get the cancel on those towers. This arcane tower was cancelled just in the last second. Two arches have fallen in return though. One more arcane tower, uh, one more guard tower is still being upgraded. I don't think there's a damage output on the side of Satini to cancel it, but it looks like Kemper had a different opinion there, cancelling the tower there for a brief moment and starting it over again. So once again, two guard towers are being upgraded, but very slowly, or you know, they still have a very far way to go. Ancient Protector here in the back of the Night Death base has been cancelled in the meantime. Another one is coming in the very back of the base, but of course he can march forward and eventually uh, help defending on the front, one of the towers is being cancelled, the second one, not for the moment, the night is almost halfway over, there's still a long while to go for um, 
for Satini with the support of uh, Shadow Melt and his move is regenerating. Another Archer is falling here. The Ancient of War is helping a great deal though in cancelling those towers and the damage output should be enough right now. Yeah, next tower gets cancelled and Satini is doing a pretty good job here fending off this tower push. I also really like this decision to not use any skills with the Demon Hunter. Using some Wisps over and over again to dispel against the AM and the Water Mantles, but it has worked out thus far. And is Kemper already giving this up? It looks like he is. I mean, yeah, okay, one of the uh, the one Ancient Protector in the back of the base is never mind. Was about to come up and would have come up if the push had still continued, but uh, Satini decides to cancel. Feels confident in his um, current position, and I guess rightfully so. The Demon Hunter and two archers are heading across the map. The AM wants to get the level 2. The Demon Hunter, he doesn't have uh, Ultra Vision, so he doesn't see this. Um, perhaps expecting immediate creeping here. Uh, is not able to prevent the AM from getting level 2. Still no Dust of Appearance available on uh, the human side. The Knight of is going to the shop, getting staff, getting no boots. He doesn't have the gold for it currently. And it is Kemper who's continuing to creep immediately. Tier 2 tech not yet started here. He can add Huntresses immediately. And on uh, Kemper's side, he did start his tech already. Okay, uh, does he have emulation? Yes, he did skill emulation previously. Decided not to use it though. And with this staff against no arcane tower, he's going to be quite annoying inside the human's main base. Blacksmith has started production. The first hunt is joining um, Satini as well. And we'll see how much damage he's going to be able to do with the hunt. Nicely positioning, blocking a couple of the militia away from the demon hunter. Really lowering the damage output of these... Uh, human units against this hero and uh, quite a bunch of the militia have or yeah of the militia have fallen already staff used here and the hunt is running away as well demon hunter looking healthy am um, well looking healthy as well but not as strong and uh, he's already down supply wise he's lost quite a bunch of uh, peasants actually one, two, three, four, five, as far as I can tell. Six with this one up here. And Satini is not wasting any time. Immediately continues creeping. So does Camper, but only a smaller camp and only the remainders of that one. Um, big heal potion for him. Oh my goodness. This is like the best item ever that he could have found there. He's going to be able to harass so much inside of the human space with that one. And... Um, is it closed though? It is closed. So unless he brings a wisp, he's not going to be able to get into the bag. And ah, okay, he can also march in with the forest or shadow priest as he's smaller than the archers as you can see and therefore clearly fits through those small gaps while the archers cannot. Uh, yeah, but for the moment he's continuing to keep the pressure up, the first uh, footman is taking a hit here, the majority of his army is still not there though, Kemper is gonna have to try and defend as good as he can, he does have emulation level 2 and look at the damage output he's got there and immediately moving those low HP archers back and all of the footmen are low already and this is looking like a very very difficult fight to take for Kemper, there's still the two hunts, the forest shadow, uh, the forest berserker and the forest shadow priest as well as this extremely tanky demon hunter to work around and I don't think he really has the means to do it at the moment. Um, well, now he's on tier 2. He'd like to get his Naga now. He'd, yeah, he's getting his first uh, Rifleman but everything is looking horrible in this game. Tier 2 also on the side of uh, Satini. Tier 3 immediately. I'm guessing a lore is probably going to be built here. Yes. Uh, doesn't have the gold for anything else at the moment but... Ah, and a Panda second so... Okay, doesn't feel the need to get a Naga in this case. He can easily creep a Panda to level 3 right now if he wants to before there's anything that uh, Kemper can throw at him. And it looks like he's going to do just that. At least start with some creeping. Not sure if he's going to creep all the way to level 3. Second lore is coming. Tier 3 has seen started already. So, um, yeah, everything is looking fine for Satini, Kemper. Uh, killing one of his own farms here just to get out of his base again of course he doesn't have access to zeppelin already since this one hasn't been crept and uh, he's even getting mountain king second okay the demon hunter doesn't have mana burn in this game so it's not all that bad of a choice and the vampiric aura for the demon hunter 
and a panda of course and a bears eventually but for the time being it's mostly the demon hunter but uh, great item for satini boosting his advantage even further in this game and uh, it looks like he doesn't feel like just sitting back and waiting until he's getting the huge tech advantage and until he's getting like a great tier 3 night elf army looks like he wants to make as much use out of those hunts and archers and mercs as he can get but still falling back right now perhaps here ah the engine of war is here already so yeah he can creep that and Kemper is going for some aggression, nevertheless he's um, Satini that is getting another priest and now he wants to get aggressive again as it appears and Kemper just sneaking past the bottom of the map here but now I think he's been seen by the Night Elf base and um, Satini is getting ready to swoop in there from the top, the first rifleman arriving at the Night Elf base, uh, tier 3 is soon to finish, Satini still has a little bit of time to pass until he reaches uh, Master Bass but I think even without Master Bears, I mean, his, his army is looking pretty decently in terms of size. I mean, it's not the highest tech units, but uh, still looking alright. And Militia are coming. Arcane Sanctum finishing. But yeah, they're, as I said, they're not the most uh, high tech, but I mean, there's a lot of units. Even though they're low tech, and there's the super strong demon hunter who has level 1 mana burn by now, so level 2 emulation, level 1 mana burn, level 1 evasion. The Ancient of War in front also helping quite a great deal. Level 2 on the panda right now, so he finally has a breath of fire to work with as well. And Kemper already seems to be on the run. He doesn't have slow or anything to really work with in terms of kiting, rejuvenation cast onto the panda, which was focused there for a second, but there's no point in keeping focus fire on anything here that gets rejuvenation unless it's like an archer or a super fragile unit. Next hunt gets attacked, breath of fire of the panda doesn't really hit all too much but this is easily enough for Satini to hold this push of Kemper heal potion. Uh, well, looks like he didn't feel like using it. Um, letting the mountain king go down. Finally the first slow arrives on the field for uh, Kemper but in the meantime he has lost so much already. Again, Satini is at 49 supply. He's able to re um, enforce his army with master bears right now and um, 44 supply remaining for Kemper level 2 am still against level four and a half and level two and a half demon hunter and panda and there's nowhere to go for these units even call to arms used here breath of fire into all of these units again the next water metal gets taken care of the next rifleman gets taken care of one of the shot, uh, first row shadow priests is falling rejuvenation onto the dryad it looks like camper is trying to push forward against those low hp um, range units of satini but even if they all drop dead i think satini would still have way uh would still have the way better position militia charging forward here Demon Hunter got another bolt, but he's gonna be level 5 in a second. The Panda is level 3 already, and it's yeah, 31 supply. There's like zero peasants left. GG, well played. Camper loses the best of three here. Tried to punish Satini for his Ancient of War creep there in the beginning, but Satini um, very well able to handle this tower push. Uh, I think I didn't voice it during the push, but it was a little bit weird. He um, produced the four towers right in the beginning of the tower push simultaneously and then he upgraded one arcane tower and it took him quite a while until he started upgrading those guard towers. I imagine that was because his slumber mill was late but that was such a lot of valuable time that he wasted there and a bunch of his towers were cancelled shortly before they finished and I think if he only had gotten like two towers up or so it would have looked quite a bit differently because uh, he didn't really um, lose footmen early on and Satini lost a couple of archers over and over again and um, while Satini was able to get the ancient protector up in the back if he hadn't been can able to cancel all of these towers if they had started pr uh, production a little bit earlier then I think uh, yeah then I think the tower push could have gone entirely different but uh, it did not. The uh, follow-up by Satini, I think, was pretty smart with the immolation harassment, with the buying the staff of uh, teleportation and then going in and um, just hurting the economy of Kemper such a lot um, that he wasn't able to follow it up by any means with any sort of 
you know, tier two timing because it just took him way too long. And um, Satini was just able to, with the Panda second, you know, with the Lords eventually to very easily end up winning this third map. So um, yeah, Satini with six points right now, Kemper still with three points. Next up is going to be Sase uh, against uh, Ciara. Uh, the next two players with uh, both three points on, um, you know, in the ranking currently. So one of them is going to stay there. One of them is going to join uh, Satini up in the higher ranks with six points as well. I'll see you for that next time. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Weren't the greatest games, to be honest, but I hope you still... Had a good time watching it. As always, give the thumbs up, subscribe and comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.